Good evening, YouTube, and welcome to the Piper Report. Just a quick article here on our favorite Muslim sympathizer who believes in Sharia law, Linda Sausauer. Now, I just call her Linda Sharia because I think it suits her well because it's what she desperately believes in, and I just hate saying the name Sausauer. This sounds weird. But she has been caught trying to divert hurricane funds for those desperate people in Texas and divert that money into a super PAC ran by George Soros. Yes, you've heard that correctly. Let's go over the article. Outspoken Sharia law activist Linda Sharia was escor escorated on social media for putting out a tweet asking for donations for the victims of Hurricane Harvey. The ostensibly charitable act was undermined when people read the fine print to see where the do donations went. Donate to the Harvey Hurricane Relief Fund, she tweeted Thursday. Sour Sour, sorry, Sharia is known for being one of the organizers of the Women's March Against Trump one day after his inauguration. She also criticized Wiley for calling for a jihad against Trump. She protested that she meant a personal struggle, not a violent religious attack, but many saw it as a dog whistle for violence against the president. I think most people had a right to see it that way. Because when you look at her past behaviors, saying that women get treated nicely in Sharia law, and condoning the actions of Sharia law, and then calling for jihad against Trump, it's not a far stretch of the imagination to know she actually meant for people to try to attack him. I don't doubt that for a second that's what she meant, but even she realized that she cannot just portray herself in that type of manner without any type of blowback. So she had to make it seem less severe. She still wanted to keep her edginess out there, like she's this badass, no one can stop her. So she kept the word jihad, but she changed its definition to a personal struggle. Yeah, no one bought it. Sharia is known for being, oh, I already said that. She was also criticized widely for calling, oh, I already said that. She inspired another controversy when she tweeted what sounded like a violent threat against Awan Hirsi Ali and Bridget Gabriel, both critics of Islam. She's asking for an ass whipping. The del deleted tweet read, I wish I could take their vaginas away. They don't deserve to be women, she added. Yes. Okay, Linda. Okay. Her critics pounce on her attempt to raise money for community organizing under the guise of Hurricane Harvey relief. The link went to donation page for Texas Organizing Project Educational Education Fund and described their mission, together we will organize and advocate for our devastated communities, shining a spotlight on inequalities that emerge in the restoration of lives, livelihoods, and homes, amplifying the needs of hard-hit communities, and providing legal assistance for residents. What the hell happened? And providing legal assistance for residents wrongfully denied government support. The project is funded by the Opens Society Foundation, which was founded by billionaire leftist George Soros. The Texas Organizing Project Education Fund is a Houston-based statewide organization promoting social and economic equality for low to moderate income Texans through community organizing and civic engagement. There was much condemnation on social media. What is wrong with you? People are in need and you're trying to divert money away to a PAC? Delete your account. Please DM or CC me on any people you're taking advantage of this situation. Absolutely despicable. You disgust me. Yes. Don't worry, Jesse Kelly. She disgusts a lot of people. People. She believes in female circumcision, which can actually kill women. It is so gruesome. This woman advocates for Sharia law. She stands for what the dogma of Sharia law. You know what that is? That is... Young girls being killed by their parents is called an honor killing just because they got raped. Think about that. You are a teenage girl. You get raped and it's you that has to die. You are the one that, are in the, that was in the wrong. I did a video a while back and it's called Islam, a religion of hate, question mark. And... It took me a while to make. It, it was a video editing one, complete edited, no really, um, I guess you don't see my face at all, just editing. And I discussed some stories, what happened over in the United Arab Emirates. Like, women are, women are getting raped and that they were being punished for getting raped because you cannot accuse someone of rape unless 
three male witnesses actually view it. And there's more things like that in nature, but I will put the link to the video in the description. Check it out because it's pretty gruesome. So Linda South Sauer is attempting to exploit the victims of Hurricane Harvey by fundraising off of the disaster. What a fraud. I mean, look at this stuff. Sharia later responded to the online criticism by saying it was animated by racists and the alt-right. Alt-right must have sent out an email blast. My mentions are on steroids. Actually, Ben Shapiro responded to this tweet, I think. I actually, uh, I think I retweeted this today. On, uh, Yeah, he did, I think. And what he wrote was, it could be that you are just a disgusting human being or something like that, a despicable human being. And yeah, I reposted that because it's so true. I mean, she blames the onslaught of emails against her on the alt-right racism and anti-Muslim bigotry. Yet, she's the one trying to steal from those who desperately need relief. She's the one trying to divert money away from the victims, the real victims, and give it to a George Soros-founded super PAC. Yes, Linda Shria, it is the alt-right of the bad ones here. You are a pathetic excuse for a human being. Just like Bill Maurer, just like that Tampa professor who blamed the, the Hurricane Harvey on Texas voting for Trump, it's karma toward them. You and your sheeple should be deported, but you are a disgusting creature inside and out. And I'm done.